All right, so this is something I think will actually help out a lot of different shooters. Um, and it's something that has came up in my shooting over the years. It's something I've always been aware of. And it's something that I kind of adjust for when I need to. And so because of that, I thought it'd be a good thing to make a video about. And it actually stemmed from, I don't know, you guys saw the video I did the other day of the 1,000 yard golf ball challenge. If you didn't see that, you may want to go check it out. It's a really cool challenge. I think it'd be a lot of fun for a lot of people. Um, so. I was doing that video and in that video something I didn't say was I was actually shooting off of the top of my truck. Um, reason being is the the beans, the field that I shoot in right now, obviously the, the crops are in, the beans, the corn is planted, um, it's at full it's at full height and because of that the spot that I normally sh have been shooting at for my thousand yard shot um, is the beans are so high I can't typically just, I can't just lay down in the back of my truck and make a straight shot so I had to get up and shoot off the roof of my truck which is no big deal I've done it plenty of times but it kind of simulates shooting off of a bench and because of that I real I because I was doing that um, I had to adjust my zero for the zero that I typically have with this rifle from a bench and you may be asking well isn't your zero your zero well it is but it's not um, your zero will change with your shooting position uh, it may change more it may change less it may not change at all but your zero can absolutely change and it can actually actually change in a big way um, depending on your rifle depending on the way you load the rifle many different things can affect your zero so I did wanted to do a little demonstration so I, I shot two groups one laying here on the ground in prone and then one here off of my bench in my hundred yard range shooting two three shot groups and the, the point of this wasn't to shoot groups it was just to show the difference in where the two zeros line up um, and that the rifle is still zeroed it's just zeroed in a different place so let's check that out first and then we'll talk about it. Zero. All right, so as you see, I had I had very respectable group size for both positions, but the zero completely changed. Both of those I was aiming dead center of the cross um, for my bullseye, 
and both of them had a completely different zero. Now you guys know, if you guys watch my videos, I typically shoot from the prone. Most of my shooting is done in the prone. Um, I'm really comfortable in the prone. Obviously I shoot better in the prone uh, just by looking at those two groups. And one thing I want to mention too, I don't know why, apparently right after I took my first shot, the camera shut off when I was shooting my prone shot, the camera that was on me. Uh, so for some reason it only has, it only picked up the one shot there, uh, but then you've got the video of downrange. So, as you notice, my video or my my group from the prone was perfect zero, and there's a good reason for that. I shoot from the prone. I have zeroed my rifle from the prone, um, and most of my shooting, as you guys always see, is done in the prone. Um, and because of that, that's where I zero my rifle. Now, I am aware of, though, that if I'm going to be shooting from a different position, typically like off of a bench, I'm going to have a different zero, especially with this rifle. Now, uh, my 7 Psalm is not as drastic. Uh, my 7 Psalm is only about, a, about three tenths of an inch difference uh, from my prone shooting to my bench shooting. And the weird thing about it is, is my zero is perfect with my Psalm, and then the when I'm shooting off a bench, my group side, or my the, my zero actually comes high instead of low. And why is that? Why is it that I can have a zero that is perfect from the prone and then shoot one rifle and my zero go high when I'm shooting off a bench and the next rifle my zero go low shooting off the bench? Well it has to do with your barrel harmonics and you can say well why does your barrel harmonics change when you're shooting in a different position? And there's a good reason for that. When you're shooting when you're shooting from the prone, typically, like we've talked about many times in the past, I am a big advocate of, is loading your bipod. When you load your bipod, you're putting forward pressure on the rifle. That changes the barrel harmonics as you put pressure on your recoil lug. Your recoil lug in your rifle is takes up all that pressure. When you load your rifle, you push forward on it, and because you are a more solid position blocking that from coming back, your barrel harmonics change completely. Now, sometimes your barrel harmonics may not change depending on your rifle, depending on how it does shooting from different positions. But uh, most rifles I have found have some sort of a different zero shooting from prone to bench. Um, and this also may come into a big effect if you're like a PRS shooter. PRS shooters are always shooting different positional shots. Um, something I've never tested. I don't do a lot of positional shooting. Um, but I have no doubt, and I could really imagine that depending on what position you're shooting from, depending on how you're loading your rifle, how you're loading your bipod, what, you know, if you're uh, up against a barricade and really, and have like some sort of barricade block where you're absolute wedge that you're wedging that rifle into a barricade, I can really imagine that all those different positions would change your zero, maybe ever so slightly, but that's something that if you're shooting, if you're aiming for something extremely small, um, you may want to really be aware of. and something you may want to practice and it's something you may want to really put your rifle on paper to realize what your different zeros can be. So here you have my prone was a, obviously like I said, I'm a better shooter from the prone. I shoot a lot from the prone. That's how I practice. Um, so my group from the prone, three shot group, 0.197 inches, so sub quarter minute. That's my standard. Um, quarter MOA is my standard when I work up a load, um, so we are definitely well within that. Now, I am not a great shooter from the bench. Um, my technique is not anywhere near as defined as it is from the ground, um, and we've got a 0.354 inch group from the bench, but the size of the group has no bearing on this demonstration here. What is the significance of this is that this group is 0.63 inches lower than the perfect zero that I have from the prone. The rifle is still zeroed at this point. The group is still holding together. The group is just holding together lower than it does from my prone shooting. It's because my barrel harmonics are different. This is another reason why, why if you see people who load their load their bipod really hard one shot and then the next shot they either forget to load their bipod or they just barely load their bipod you'll see a lot of vertical stringing 
when somebody does that. So it's really important to consistently load your bipod. As a matter of fact, I'm sure a lot of people who watch my channel watch Mark and Sam After Work. It's a really good channel if you guys haven't checked it out. Um, ELR shooting, uh, stuff that I'm into, and we have a kind of a lot of crossover in our viewership from what I've noticed. Um, and he did a video not too long ago where he had worked up something. Mark is always uh, inventing things to help further his precision shooting, um, and he's really does some ingenious stuff from time to time. And he came up with a thing that he, he put a video up of a prototype of a bipod load gauge. So it was a gauge that he could set in front of his bipod and as he loaded the bipod it told him how much load he had on his bipod so he could get a consistent load with each shot. And I thought that was absolutely ingenious. Um, so stuff like that, how much you're loading your bipod makes a big difference and the biggest difference is your it changes your barrel harmonics. So just wanted to make this quick video, um, something people may not be aware of. If you uh, typically shoot off of a bench at a range, at you know at a public range to zero your rifle, and then you have a spot where you shoot long range out in the country and you're laying down on the prone, you may not even be aware that your data isn't matching up right because you actually have a different zero because you zeroed your rifle from a bench and now you're shooting from the prone. So this is the little things that, there's so many little things in precision shooting that can change everything. And this is just another one of those things, another thing that people need to be aware of. So I hope this helps. We'll see you guys next time. I'm out.